Today in this Lumberyard, we're gonna be walking you through the entire nest bedding lineup, at least the adult sized beds. So if you didn't know already, nest bedding is a US based brand that's been around the online mattress space for a long time. They make really quality handcrafted products that all vary a little bit in terms of construction elements, firmness, and even feel. So we're gonna try to make your decision between all of these mattresses a little bit easier for you today and kind of help you determine which one's gonna be right for you. We're gonna start off by talking about the policies that they're backed by. Then I'll delve into each individual mattress as they come and go and talk about things like, you know, what I just mentioned, their construction, firmness, and feel, pricing, whatnot. And I'll try to make this decision a little bit easier for you today. If you didn't know already, my name is JD. I work over here at the Slumberyard and we review all things online beds over here. So if you like what we do and what we crank out on a consistent basis on this channel, click the like button and subscribe for so much more. And if you need any more information, hit the description box. There should be a ton of helpful content down there for you to peruse. But now let's get into nest bedding and all of their mattresses. Okay, so policies. What do you gotta know in terms of Nest stuff that they back their beds with? It's pretty simple and I will get into it momentarily, but I do wanna disclaim right here that we did receive all of these Nest beds for free to review, just so we could test them out over here and tell you guys all about them. But if you decide to order one for yourself, you should be getting completely free shipping. You're also gonna be getting a 365 night trial period, so around a full year to really test these beds out at home risk-free before you're officially stuck with them. If within that time frame you wanna send them back, you can do so for completely free as well. But if you do decide to keep them, they're all backed by a lifetime warranty, which is great. And one more thing that is specific to Nest Bedding is their lifetime renewal exchange program. So the Owl, Finch, and Sparrow mattresses from Nest Bedding all have removable top comfort foam layers. And you can at one point before or after the trial period exchange these top comfort foams for a brand new one. And this is super nice to have. I think it'll drastically increase the overall lifespan of your mattress. And it is something that is proprietary to Nest Bedding as a brand. If you want to know more about that lifetime renewal, exchange or the other policies that I briefly covered, hit the description box for so much more information. But now let's get into the first bed from Nest Bedding that I wanna talk about, which is the one sitting right behind me. This is the Sparrow Signature Hybrid. It's probably the most accommodating and popular option offered from Nest as a brand. It uses coils for support with a nice fluffy pillow top for comfort. And this pretty much gives it a comfy pillow top feel. I think this bed feels pretty cloud-like for lack of a better term. It's just super plush and accommodating for the average sleeper out there. And I'd say it strikes a really nice balance of overall support that you get from the coils and comfort that you get from that Energex foam right below that cover. The Sparrow Signature Hybrid is available in three different firmness levels, so you've got some options to choose from here. We have their medium option out of the three, and it is a little bit softer than a medium, we'd say. It's in between a medium and a medium soft on our scale. So pretty good for all sleeper types with a slight pressure relief advantage for strict side and combo sleepers. Now this bed is available with a split firmness level in the California King version, so if you sleep with a partner and you guys maybe prefer complete completely different firmness levels. You've got that option to split this firmness down the middle on the California King size. In a nutshell, I just see the Sparrow Signature Hybrid being the option that most folks out there go with from Nest, especially when you consider the overall level of quality that you're getting here for the price. So as of when I'm recording this video, I'm filming around Labor Day, so there's a big sale on it going on right now, but you should expect to pick it up for right around the $17 or $1,800 range after discount for the queen size. Again, we should have whatever is most current and up-to-date price-wise with Nest Bedding down below in the description box for the Sparrow Signature Hybrid. But another bed within this lineup that is pretty similar to this mattress in terms of overall design, but instead from a natural and organic perspective is the Owl Natural Hybrid. It also features coils on the bottom for support, so all body types should be accommodated here. And it uses a nice fluffy pillow top like the Sparrow, only this bed uses latex foam for its primary comfort layer, and it even uses some organic cotton and wool for additional comfort with an organic cotton cover wrapping everything up. Since it uses that natural latex foam instead of the Energex foam that is found on the Sparrow, it has more of a pillow top feel that is based in latex foam. So it's super bouncy and responsive. And it kind of exhibits more of a latex foam feel when you compare it to the Sparrow. You know, I think both are gonna be pretty responsive, but I think you're gonna be getting more bounciness and sponginess and overall responsive quality from the Owl. Like the Sparrow, it's also available in a plush, medium, and a firm option. Again, we have their medium, and we would say this is right around a proper medium on our scale, so it should work for all sleeper types just fine, backside, stomach, and combination. But if you do want a softer or firmer option of this bed, you have those other levels available. And they also have a split 
firmness in the California King, so you can split this bed down the middle like the Sparrow. And they also have that lifetime renewal exchange program if you decide to replace that top comfort layer. Since the Owl is comprised of more natural and organically sourced materials, it is gonna come with a little bit of a higher price tag than the Sparrow. A queen size currently retails for right around the $2350 mark. But after discount, again, check the description box for it. I think you're gonna be paying just shy of the $2000 mark when all is said and done. Now from the Owl, we then move into the all latex foam version of this bed, which Nest dubs the Finch. So it basically mimics the Owl in terms of overall construction and design aesthetic, only it uses a support core of latex foam on the bottom instead of coils. So this gives it more of an all around latex foam feel compared to the Owl, which should be a great option for green thumbs out there if you're looking for an entirely organically sourced bed. But since it does use foam for support instead of coils, it'll naturally be able to handle medium and petite sized people a little bit more than heavier people. I think you're gonna be a-okay if you sleep on this bed and you're a bit heavier, but it should be a little bit more suitable for average sized folks. Now this bed is available in two firmness levels. You've got a medium and a firm option. The medium does skew quite a bit softer than a medium, right in between that and a medium soft on our scale. So you probably do want to look into that firm option if you decide to go with this bed and you're more of a back, stomach, or a combination sleeper, because all beds will soften the more you use them. So you almost want to start off a little bit firmer and then have it come down over time. As mentioned, this bed is also available with that lifetime renewal exchange program. It's backed by a ton of ecological certifications, and I believe it's now available in a split furnace option as well. In terms of pricing, it's right on par with the Owls. I think you can expect to pay right around 2000 bucks for the queen size after discount. And again, check the description box for any current savings we can find for you. Next up, I wanna talk about their flippable hybrid offering now known as the Raven. It used to be called the Robin, hence all the shots that you're seeing currently in this video. Just know that moving forward, I know it says the Robin, it's actually the Raven now. Both sides of this bed are designed to be slept on, which is kinda of nice, it's like you're getting two beds in one. And since it uses coils in the middle, it should be able to support all body types, whether you're heavy, petite, or even average. You've got a medium and a firm side to choose from here. The medium is indeed right around a proper medium on our scale, should work fine for all sleeper types. But if you decide to flip it over to the firm side, I think you're gonna find it's in between a medium and a medium firm on our scale. So again, Pretty nice for all sleeper types, but maybe a little bit more supportive for primary back and stomach sleeping. Regardless of the side you choose to sleep on though, both should have a pretty neutral foam feel, all things considered. Even though they do use something that's kind of similar to a memory foam within this bed, it's gonna be really responsive and pretty much just neutral overall with little to no sinking sensation. It's just gonna feel like a comfy hybrid mattress, I think. This is also one of their more affordable hybrid options, a queen size retails for right around $1,700, but they're currently running a huge sale on this mattress and you can expect to pay right around 850 when all is said and done for that queen size. And that is after discount. Again, that could change in the future. You know, it depends on the year you decide to buy these beds. So check in the description to see whatever's current with the new Raven. And last but not least on the docket to talk about is the Quail Love and Sleep mattress, which is pretty much Nest's main neutral foam, all foam offering. It's a pretty straightforward mattress that should work out for just about anyone. It's pretty simple in terms of construction. It uses dense support foam on the bottom, then a transition layer of foam, and then Energex foam on top. And this all adds up to give it a really straightforward neutral foam feel. I think it's just gonna feel like a comfy foam bed and it should work for pretty much anyone out there. If you just want a bed that has a very unassuming type of feel that should be pretty much just comfortable, look into this one. This is also one of the only neutral all foam mattresses out there within the online space that's actually available in two different firmness levels. You've got a medium and a firm option here. You know, when you compare this bed to similar feeling options like Lisa and Casper, you know, those beds are only available in one main firmness level, you have two to choose from here. The medium is right around a medium on our scale, should be a fine option for all sleeper types right off the bat. But then the firm option is gonna be quite a bit firmer than a medium. We would say it's closer to a proper medium firm on our scale, maybe even a tinge bit firmer for more petite sized individuals. Because firmness is usually a subjective thing based on how much you weigh. Heavier people usually perceive beds to be softer than they are, while more smaller individuals find them to be firmer. But I think our firmness rankings are based on the average Joe. And that is someone who weighs is in and around the range of 160 pounds, you know, the average sized individual. Now, all of the foams used within the Quail Love and Sleep are Certa Pure US certified, which is always nice to have in your mattress. It just means that they're made in an ethical and non-toxic way. And it's also 
also not bad on price, especially when you consider the quality here. A queen size usually retails for right around the $1,300 mark, but after discount, again, check the description box for it, I think you're gonna be paying a little upwards of the $1,100 range. Again, I'm filming this video right around a pretty big sale for Nest Bedding, so that pricing could be different in the future, but again, check the description box to see whatever's current. We like to keep our pricing up to date down there for you guys. But that is pretty much gonna sum it up for this Nest Bedding buyer guide. What do you guys think? Which one of these Nest mattresses would you ultimately prefer and why? Write us down below in the comments. We would love to hear from you. If you need any more information about these beds, we've done full written reviews on them, individual reviews, other comparisons with these beds. And you know, of course, we'll have those discounts down there as well for you to look at. But that's pretty much gonna do it for this one. If you enjoyed this thing, like this video and subscribe to The Slumberyard for so much more. But I'm JD. Hopefully you're doing well out there. Sleep right, sleep tight. We'll see you next time. Subscribe.